my gorgeous soul, welcome to your monthly May Astrology, direct from my boudoir. Um, yes, it's the best lighting today is here, so we're going to do it here. Anyway, it's a punchy little month. We've got a grand earth sign. We've got a grand fire trine. And Jupiter is still retro, so there is work to be done. Let's get going. Here's your monthly astrology. Virgo, you quick-witting wonder. How you doing? What do you think I've got to say to you about May? It's all about adventure stretching your boundaries, traveling, not just traveling physically, although there may be some of that, or plotting to travel physically. You're also hungry for knowledge. You want to express your unique soul. You want to go out there and go, right, show me something new. Feast upon something that's different. And the mundane will not be for you. You are stretching yourself, you're pushing your boundaries, you're leaving your comfort zone. And it all kicks off with a new moon, as well as Mercury shifting sign right at the beginning of the month. And you're like, yes, there are things I want to see. There are things I want to experience. You may find yourself coming across people from different cultures, different backgrounds, uh, clever people that spark your mind and your creativity, people who are unusual or different in some way, and you love it. And it's giving you the courage to express your own unique and beautiful soul. So, you know, you're going on a journey in May and it's going to be an exciting journey with some unexpected things along the way. As Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable, um, brings in a surprise. There's a conversation, a message coming to you that's all about this stretching process. We then have um, a grand earth trine that's, that's helping you to ground this idea of travel and adventure and get stuck into the practical so that you can do it. This is a grand earth time. So all the, you know, a lot of earth energy coming together to boost you and push you forward. And you're going to discover what it is that makes you happy. You're going to discover what it is that makes you feel creative. You're going to discover what it is that makes you feel connected to someone. There's a lot of laughter. There's a lot of pleasure. This is a great month. I'm so excited. Thank goddess for that. Uh, Venus is shifting signs and going into your adventure zone as well. So you may travel with a lover. You may meet someone who's from a different culture, a different area, a different country. Uh, you may decide that you want to do something at, at completely different. You may even make money connected to overseas or something eccentric that's unique within you. Mars is shifting signs and really making you a team player. If you do any sports whatsoever, you should be super fabulous at it this month, as Mars is making you want to join forces with people and, and do things as a team. We have the full moon in Scorpio. There's an idea. You may even get an idea to write a novel, to write a book, to write a new blog, to write your blog in a different way. Uh, but you're excited about this idea coming up from your unconscious and you're like, wow, where did that come from? You might have a dream and it's just like the perfect uh, map of a novel you want to write. So pay attention to the information or it could even be a, a message coming from someone, but information around that um, full moon. Where are we? Venus is conjunct Uranus. Again, unexpectedness. Maybe a lover or a potential lover asks you to go somewhere you've never been and you find it super exciting. And then on the 21st, the energy shifts and you're going into the next phase, which is all about your career. And you've got a fabulous, not just end of the month, but the following month is all about your career, putting yourself out there, people recognising you for your talents and you having the confidence to either change a job or transform the way you see your job. Um, yeah, and Mercury's entering that sign as well. Makes you very good if you want to ask for a pay rise or you want to say, right, this is what I want to do and other people listen to you. Venus is trying Saturn and you are committing to happiness. And that's difficult for you because often you are self-critical or you're kind of just a little bit nervous about asking for what you want. And you're going to realise that when you do ask for what you want, when you know how worthy you are, that's when things shift. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Now, don't forget my gorgeous soul. Please come visit me on Instagram. It's my favourite thing. And I do all this amazing stuff, which I'm sure you will love. I do live stories. Uh, I do pick a tarot card reading on stories. I do 
tarot card of the day and astrology of the day as well. Um, anyway, I would love to share the love with you. Come meet me.